I'm gonna say uh your coin splays out against the floor and your wakizashi goes flying. Wow. How far away? Uh it seems to lodge itself into a wall. You hear it. As someone just goes, Ah oh, fuck that was close. Whoa. <laughs> Spend a luck and just best foot forward instantly stab someone through the neck on falling down by accident. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. And so yeah, Cherry's first, you know, uh response is just like Oh, that was a bigger drop than I realized it would be. Oh great, we got someone else down here, says another voice. Before uh, you feel someone put their hand on your shoulder and just say, uh, you didn't break anything, did you? Uh, other than the string on my coin purse, no. Um, and okay, so yeah, ha- so what what's set the scene for me? Where am I? Uh, well, you can feel, you from what you're sussing out, uh, you're in a sort of uh, underground room. Uh, it's got, uh, it's, 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 there, there is, uh, what seems to be like a small, there, there, there's like a small fire you can hear in the middle of it. Yeah. And, uh, you can hear echoes, uh, down two ways. So like a tunnel? Like, like two, like two little tunnel, like two tunnels. Yeah, you can hear. Gotcha. Uh, obviously, there's and at least two there other people seems here. Seems to be about uh four people here. Four, no, five, five other people here. Five other people. Okay. So yeah, Cher- Cherry, you know, gets to her feet and is just sort of, you know, uh, collecting her coin. I'll say that. First of all, um, you know, as as she gets up and just, hey, hello then, who are you? Uh, hello, we're the people who, uh, got stuck down here and we're hoping that, uh, either someone, the person responsible for this whole room here or someone who could help us would come along. Yeah, instead we got uh, a six person, says someone else. I'm not sharing my share of the my share of the my share of the last animal that fell down. I'm hungry. Ah, uh, I see. So you're hmm. okay. That makes sense. How long have you been down here? Oh, well, I've been down here three days. She, those two have been down there, and looks at you again. Oh, you're wearing a blindfold. Um, I'm just thinking, it's really I've good been... we didn't send Lydian down here, because the food worries would have been exceptional. <laughs> I've been down here three days. Uh, two of us have been down here a week. One of us has been down here uh, three weeks, and another has been down here for a month. Good thing you guys have ventilation. Um... When it, and turn into the one who's been down here a month. There wasn't any bodies or anything down here when you fell down, were there? Just animals. Just animals. And, um... Uh, just yeah, well, that might have... That might, that might have been a bad question to ask, actually. You know, we can just... Cherry can choose to be in ignorance of whether or not they've had to resort to cannibalism down here. Skeletons <laughs> count as bodies. I don't know. I'm gonna say, this guy sounds like he kind of deserves to be in a hole the way he's talking. Um, <laughs> I've been without sunlight for a month. Well, I see. Uh, out of curiosity, what's the gender ratio down here? Uh... Two girls, working out three the guys. long term. 
what capabilities <laughs> of this underground civilization. Yeah. <laughs> um, right, well, uh, I could hope I should be able to help you guys out of here. Um, oh, that would be wonderful if you could. For a small fee, of course. Fucking knew it. I'm kidding, I'm <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. Well, at least I think I am, who knows. My boss may try and charge you guys for this, but, uh, you know. I guess he can just threaten to shove you back in the hole if you don't pay or something. I don't make those, those decisions are above me. Anyways. <laughs> Literally at the moment. Uh, I'm here in a rope if someone wants to, uh, try and climb out. Any of you able to climb a rope? Uh... Oh, I probably can. Uh, this is the one who's closest to you. She uh, says, uh, what, what, what? You just want me to climb this rope attached to you? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, just try and climb up. They might start pulling it up, hopefully, in which case we can just do this, you know, in shifts. Um, they, 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 they were going to try and pull me out one when I tug on it, so, uh, I imagine you climbing on it will probably feel like that, but, uh, the two of us might be too heavy for them to pull out, I don't know, we'll, we'll just see how it goes, uh, if they can't pull us both up, you know, and you, you can still try and climb out, or they could just pull me up, and then we'll just send it back down with, like, a seat or something, we'll, we'll figure something out. Now, hold on, yeah, this is one of the guys who has been here a week. Uh, I don't think the lady who's been here for just three days should be the first one to get out and see the <laughs> light. Moonlight? Sunlight? I don't oh, know. Oh, it's night. It's it's night out. Pretty okay. cold, actually. You guys actually have a... It's actually very nice in here. I'll, I'm in no <laughs> rush to get out. It, it's cold and windy out. It, it's nice and, you know, pleasant temperature in here. Meanwhile, on the server, Lydian, are we Everyone done? Uh, the, the angry one uh, just sort of yells out, uh, the one who's been there three weeks, just says, Oh, God, oh, gr uh, you know what? It was not a good idea to have a sharp object put near me, I'll tell you that much. And you hear him grip the wakizashi. Oh, could I have that back, actually? <laughs> it was expensive. Oh, well, what'll you give me for it? Since we're dealing in transactions, apparently. I was just kidding. I'm helping you guys out of here. I could leave you behind if you want. <sighs> You're being I... very hostile to someone who volunteered to come down here. Everyone else was just going to figure, well, I guess they're not immediately hostile. We'll let those people do whatever it is they're doing, leave them to their business. I was the one who volunteered to come down here. None of you have a pen or writing instrument or paint or something? You could have you could have used ashes. You could have, you know, written a little SOS on the rock. I'm just, you know, not not to victim blame, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> like god not to victim blame but you're a bunch of fucking idiots you didn't think of any of this alright the guy kind of blows a gas and just goes I'm going to cut that rope and starts running <laughs> and, uh, one of the, uh, the, the two guys who have been here a week just kind of tackle him like no 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 me Lydian's upstairs just upstairs. Lydian's above just call. kind of shivering and is like Hope she's okay down there, cause uh getting mighty tired of just standing around shaking. Meanwhile, the girl who's been here a month just goes, A rope is like a lifeline. Depending on who's attached to it. Uh-huh. Okay. If you has cut Cherry, the has rope, Cherry tugged on the rope, or is she still blind. just seeing how this plays? No, yeah, she's still, like, she's not abandoning these people. Just, like, so Cherry just seeing this, you know, just kind of, uh, so anyways, who wants to go first? Uh, they're like, 
the guy who was tackled just says, How about me? You can trust me. Who other than him? <laughs> well, uh, she's been here a month. Uh, are, are you good to climb? Climbing, climbing. I've been climbing my whole life. I've right, found... okay. Those two probably last then. Um, or at least not first. Here, how about you to the original lady who volunteered? You you give it a shot. They may try pulling us up. We'll, we'll see how it goes. All right. Uh, you two okay with that? And the two who are just holding down the guy with the, with, the, with your sword are just going like, just go. And yeah, she climbs on the rope and starts trying to ascend herself. I do think, and yeah, yeah Lydian, when we... You, yeah, you feel the tug. Yeah, Lydian's like, right, time to pull. And yeah, uh, Lydian starts pulling at least. I don't know how many, how much... I've probably got assistance from at least three people. Yeah. You start pulling and eventually out of the dirt pops the head of a woman who is not Cherry. I will say because it's, instantly because, a bullet wait. sails between her eyes. <laughs> I will say because it's Cherry and one other person on the rope. Lydian does say, like realizing the sudden difference in ways. Like, damn, was Cherry doing some fine dining? I was unaware of back in Custer. He's jealous. He didn't get in enough fine dining. Yeah, see, Al pops ahead of a woman who is not Cherry, uh, but she takes in a deep breath. Like, wow. It is cold. Yeah, it's very cold. Uh, yeah, Lydian, I think, still pulling, gets her the rest of the way out. Oh my gosh. The air. Uh, is there... What were you doing down there? Oh. Is Cherry also, like, uh, em yeah. emerged from the ground? Yeah, Cherry, you emerged from the ground shortly after. Yeah. We don't so Cherry sort of coughing and spluttering. Uh, they were stuck down there. So yeah, I, I was fearing something like this might happen. Uh, the, that's just pulling anyone who walks over it down, and we've had... Well, now there are five of them. There have presumably been others in the past who just were never rescued, but these five have been stuck down there for various amounts of time. I suppose when I better. said we would, you know, help pull them up, yeah, I suppose we'd better. They yeah. Can I'd advise against... Uh, are you the boss of which she spoke? I uh, suppose so. Well, um, could you not charge us for this? Uh, One of us is a little on edge and won't respond well to that. Uh, oh, right. That reminds me. So, uh, we're gonna have to take these guys up one at a time, yeah? Um... Yeah, that, that makes sense. And then sense. she calls out to November. Hey, November, if any of them come out of the ground and don't say banana, shoot them. I'm sorry? Yeah, one of them was a little jumpy, and I think he's, you know, I wouldn't put it past him to try and cut the rope. Um, So when and the next ones are coming up, I'll tell them, you know, the password, just say banana first thing when they come out of the ground and if they don't say that it's cause he's like you know murdered me or cut the rope and is trying to escape on his own to trap the rest of us down there hopefully right. that won't happen but you know gonna be <laughs> careful about that one I suppose so is Lydian doing the mental calculations like there's a guy down there with Sherry's knife and she's offering to go back in there it's like is I it, mean, it should be fine. It's just, you know, he seemed a little unstable. That's not right. good. Well, That's not for, good at all. For what it's worth, I don't intend on charging you for the rescue. Just, uh... Uh, just knowledge of the sinkhole ought to do. But I think we've got a... We've got... We've got a grip on that. 
Cherry, are you sure you want to go back down there? He's Someone's got your knife, and they... You've already said they're unstable. We're going up one at a time. Eventually, it's going to be one-on-one, -on -one, you and him. I mean, who would you rather send down? Nico? I'd rather just not send anyone down once it's down to that, if he's a threat. I think it should be fine. Like I said, he's just a little jumpy. I can manage yeah. myself. Uh, and she does, like, dr pull out her gun, which she still has on her. Good point. Good argument. Alright. If you're willing to go back down there, just give the word and we'll commence the rescue operation for free. Alright, so, and then, yeah, Cherry, like, you know, once the other one is clear, uh... I guess that you guys just have to drop me and let me get sucked back down. Pretty much, yeah. It's really the yeah. pulling back up part that's the... Also, Cherry says, also, it's quite a long drop. Um, let the rope down gently after I'm sucked through the initial barrier, please. All right. I'll bet I didn't mind. Yeah. Also, just pointing out, you know, November does call out when she's down there. Tying that, using the horse to pull the rope might help. Hmm. Yurima. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. I call the horse over. All right. No, yeah. Now we have to say their whole name. Yurima Kruger. The Salt Burrow. Did we come up with this again? I don't random, know. Wiki, random pages on Wikipedia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm, I'm going to call you Nico Tester each and every time. Well, you could just call me it's Nico for short. All right. And I can just call the horse Yurima for short. But that's a proud name it has. And your name definitely ain't proud. <laughs> well, it's a science name. There's no pride in science. You... You run counter to that statement. There is no time to be lost. We have to tie the rope to the horse. I'm doing it while I'm arguing with you. Just because well, I'm good. talking does not mean I'm also not carrying out an in-game action. <laughs> what? Well, excuse me, I just thought that maybe it was a bit beyond you. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, I, you may not I realize you don't understand the business world but we have a saying, time is money so yes, I am tying a rope around this horse <laughs> well is it is it a good, me good lean so we're, you know, you could have gone over there and it would have been better stick to science tying a knot is a science alright, you do it then <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. The Nico will do it all right, yeah. Make him roll to tie this rope. Make it dexterity. <laughs> no, no, but it's intelligent. Nico is very smart. <laughs> Meanwhile, Cherry is down there with the lady yeah. who's been there the longest, or whatever, being like, "I don't know. We we keep tugging the rope, and nothing's happening. I, I maybe they're all dead." <laughs> <laughs> Nico ties the rope. There, good. Look. No, I, 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 I my rope was my knot was better. Mine it mine is optimizing the route more. Life is not about optimizations. Yes, it is. What? <laughs> All right, I'll 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 tell Cherry to not make any food for you. Just give you some kind of nutrient paste if we just care about efficiency. Okay, I can't live without that. I had that a lot as a kid. That's tragic. And also <laughs> explanatory. No. Oh, when it's you just... next go down, <laughs> yeah, Terry. Thank you. Yeah. thank you. Uh, I guess one of the guys who's been down there a week volunteers to go, wants to go up next. <sighs> they played rock, paper, scissors with each other to determine. Two okay. of them. Uh, Did you... All... Just wait, just those two? What about uh, uh you know the guy crazy with your, and that shit over there? The guy with your sword is uh just sort of has been calmed down a bit and is just 
thieving sitting down in a corner saying he'll go up after them. <laughs> and the woman who's been down there a month is uh just rambling about something. Okay, oh. fair enough, I suppose. Oh, so he gets uh close to you, tugs on the rope and just says, You know, if I may say, as you're ascending, so if I may say, being close to such a beauty is such a wonderful capstone to this horrific time I've had, and, and the other guy just makes an ah! sound. That's appreciated. Yeah. yeah. And Carrie's just like, oh, cool. Uh, you know, like, normally she's good at being gracious about these things, but just, just sort of, you know. Yeah. Okay. Alright. It is just sort of a, yeah, sigh of resignation. Just, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, how long were you down here? Oh, a week with my brother. Oh, yeah. That's... Uh, I've had to look out for him. You know, I'm good at looking out for people, but some things just catch us by surprise. I think best, I think the best things in life are surprises, though. I, I, I suppose I agree with that. I don't broadly agree, because a surprise could also be a knife in your back, but... It's oh. not surprises are the best things in life, it's the best things in life are surprises. Now, if I may get my rescuer's name, I would be so happy. Uh, call me Cherry. And you are? Oh, I'm Brodus. Brodus? What a... Yeah. Endearing name. Oh, thank you. You're <laughs> so very nice. In fact, I might, may I say, may I be so bold as to say, and then, like, his, he gets gargled by dirt. Yeah. As his head lifts up and he just goes, B -b -b banana. Okay, nice. November does not immediately execute yeah. this man. All right, that's one, or two, I suppose. As I was saying, Miss Cherry, uh, if you would be so, if you would love, I, I would love to repay this favor to you once, once, uh, maybe we, you can visit me sometime at my home in Marion, and I can pour you a drink of the finest wine that I've collected. Hey, I'm, I might have misheard him. Did he really say banana, or did he just kind of sputter? I said wow, banana. that's cool. And Cherry, your response? Uh, perhaps. Perhaps, someday. <laughs> I'm always wandering through places. Uh, once this guy is crawling past Cherry and yeah. can't see her, you do see Cherry, like, gagging a little. Not out of this guy's that, but, you know... These people haven't showered down there in a while. Yeah. You know, after I take, fuck it, I take it back. That is something Cherry says. I need crawling out. You know, I appreciate the the gesture and everything, but I'm just gonna say, uh, next time you're inviting a, a, a lady to spend an evening with you, uh not having been stuck in a hole where you haven't bathed in a week. Just, you know, things like that are good to be aware of. Just for the future. Hey, 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 listen, I'll... I'll it, it, you, you won't believe how nice my place smells. Oh, I'm sure. I just, you know... Just make like a chinchilla down there. Have a sand. <laughs> And you go go back down promptly. Yeah, yeah. His brother's there waiting. Yeah, no. It's, she's immediately just. So that's your uh, brother there, huh? Yeah. Uh, sorry. I I I am assuming he put the moves on you. 
Oh, I appreciate the apology. So what's your name, Scrotus? <sighs> no, she doesn't say that. I, just, I had the intense desire to... So, yeah, she asked, so what's your name anyways? Uh, I'm Morris. That would have been a very funny chance to just answer Scrotus, I'm just gonna say. <laughs> yeah. You considered it, didn't you? It passed. I did. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get you out of here then. Hopefully he's not... Actually, that would be pretty funny if he was sitting on the floor. Anyway, sorry. Let's go. Yep. Pull. And, uh, so he uh, says yeah. he looks out for you. He's good at looking out. Uh, he's good at finding shortcuts that lead into pits that keep us here for a week. Don't tell me this is the first. This isn't the first time it's happened to you. This is the first time something of this caliber has happened. Oh, that's good, I suppose. What do you two do? Uh, we mostly just go and we mostly just uh, we we help out with uh, we do carpentry. We were supposed to go fetch wood. Well, that's well. I hope this doesn't affect your employment. We probably got a backlog when we get back. Oh, private, your own business. You don't work for someone. Yeah, that's the only fortunate thing about this. Maybe Both invite him out. Well, you want the business together, good, or is good. one of you together? <laughs> well, we 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 have a bit of business in Marion. You know, uh, what's the name of the business? If we need some carpentry done. I'll seek you out. Oh, it's a uh, Woodsis. <laughs> <laughs> Woodsus. Cherry is also immediately thinking. Actually, it would be pretty funny if I fucked this guy, though. <laughs> 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 And yeah, you come up through the dirt, and he says, banana. Oh yeah, she does warn him of that, too. I, yeah. I meant to say, as they are. Yeah. Yeah. Is that woods us, like wood sus? Woods us, like woods are us? Uh, no R in there, just woods us. No R, just woods us. Woods us. No wonder I haven't heard of these guys. They have no business acumen, they have no flair. <laughs> Lydian. So is but... Morris with a U instead of, is it Morris? Instead yeah. of Morris. 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 Well, no. Not Morris. 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 Is that correct spelling? Yeah. <laughs> the what's up, brothers? Yeah, Cher Cherry takes a bit of a break before going back down, you know, just like, you know, getting some air. This har readjusting the harness a bit, you know, adding some extra padding. It does tend to dig. Um, but yeah, before. All right, send me in again. All right, once more. It's batshit or crazy this time. Let's find out who goes first. <laughs> All right, send Cherry down again. So, yeah. yeah. So as as she's being lowered, you know, it just asks, all right, who wants, uh, you know, who's going next? You know what? Angry guy says, take me last. I gotta, th I, I think I'll miss this place. Okay. Very cool. <laughs> All right, then, uh, and then turning to Crazy Guy. What's her name? Crazy Girl, uh, she's... No, to uh, the guy. She, the guy? Uh, yeah, uh, she asked him what her name is. Uh, her name's Ava. Ava. 
All right, Ava, you ready to go up? You've been down here so long. Don't you want to see the surface? Ah, oh, that's the name my mother gave me when I was born. Do you have one? Yeah, my my mom named me Sakura. Uh, I go by Cherry, though. Do you have a different name that you prefer? No, Ava's fine. Sometimes I think about writing it down on the wall so I don't forget it. But I haven't uh, forgot it yet. That's anyway, good. what's all this about? This rope? Oh, uh, your life. Yeah, line? we're we're getting you up. Up, up, up. Here we go. Oh, okay. Well, I suppose I'll go up with you. Yeah, that's that's good. Um, hey, Ava. You Want to help me out? Do you do you have anything uh, sharp on you? Uh, I've got this. She pulls out like a uh, like a a flint knife. I've been using it to carve things into the wall. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. I'm blind. I didn't notice that before. Do you think I could use that for for a minute? When... Oh, of course. Okay. Thank I you. I won't need it, it where we're going, Miss Angel. Oh, that's very sweet. How Take old is up. Ava actually? Like, uh, like, she seems to be in her uh, er, uh, mid twenties. Oh wow. 20s. Okay. Yeah. I my my mental image of her kept on jumping around. Yeah. From like. You know, eighteen to like old lady. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. So yeah, keeping that out of reach of her, so there's no uh. Now also worried about her cutting the rope. Let's let's go on up. Um. Take me and Cher you know, Cherry also just says, "All right, why don't you just hold on to me, and we'll get pulled up." Um. Whatever you say, Miss Angel. Yurima, it's go time. Tug on the rope. <laughs> and so, yeah, once, once we're about to go up, Cherry's actually going to try and get it uh, so her head will come above dirt first. Okay. She's going to just doesn't trust this person <laughs> to, you know, say, that would be unfortunate if Cherry was like, all right, let's go, and then suddenly feels her go limp uh, as mm -hmm. they touch the boat. Is it true what they say? Is it really full of clouds? It is what well full of clouds? Oh. Uh, that's what they tell me. I, I, I Best yeah. off asking Aegis. Yeah, that's <laughs> real. <laughs> but yeah, wow. uh, Cherry does say, you know, uh, that's what they say. I'm probably not the person to ask that, though. Was it Aegis or was it Angela? Yeah, it was Aegis. Okay. No, that was Aegis. <laughs> yeah, Cherry's a little worried about this one. Up, up, up we go. Up. Finally up. And yeah, your head comes out of the dirt first. Yeah, and Cherry's like sputtering out. Oh, banana, banana, I don't. This one, don't shoot this one. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, and pulling her out, you know. Yeah, this one's been down there a while. She's a little, you know, look oh, after she don't, her. She don't the need other to say. Can explain. She don't need to oh. say banana. She's speaking it. I don't need the. Yeah. I don't see the cloud. I thought it would be full of cloud. It's it's nighttime, honey. You'll oh. you'll get a be beautiful sunrise. Wow! Thank you, Angel. And you're you're at, welcome, honey. And look at your fellows. Oh, she's now here. Be... Just hold on to this rope and clinging to the rope, crawl that way. Okay? Can you do that for me? Okay, I can crawl, Angel. Oh, she's gonna be in the hole a whole lot longer, ain't she? In a metaphorical uh, sense yeah. of the word. She crawls her way to solid ground. I... And just says. 
to be up, up, up. Here All right. I am. So, was that bat shit or crazy? Crazy. Bat shit's last. He wanted to go last. Um. Well, if I die, it's been an honor working with all of you. And then to November, you were saying, you know, yeah, calling out most of November. This last one, he's the one I was talking about. Uh, keep an eye on this and him once we're out. All right, Nico, be ready with the freeze gun. I'm always ready. All right, it's go time. Maybe one of those Molotov cocktails would have been useful now. Anyways. <laughs> Just throwing it into the sand, like, have this. Yeah. All right, down you go. So, yeah. Uh, oh, November, or November. Uh, Cherry also does says, lower me a bit slower this time. Be be ready for me to tug on it before you finish lowering me down. Right. Got it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Lydian abides by that. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Let, let's grab Batsha. So, Does he uh, seem to be, you know, like, how's he doing when I get lowered back down? When there? you get lowered back down, uh, you hear him, uh, like, sort of, like, stabbing at the air, just, like, practicing with the sword. Oh. What's hey, that? uh, What's how's that? it going? Oh, there you are. Yeah. Was, you were... I was wondering when you'd come back down. You seem well, to be you know. deliberating on something. I wonder what it was. Oh no, the last one. She's a, uh, you know, a bit more. And Cherry does a sort of, you know, like hand gesture, sort of like the hand, like rotate. I don't know what you call that. Loopy, the loop around loopy the gesture. Yeah. yeah. No, not oh. the finger twirl, like the hand out, spread out, and like sort of like twisting the spread hand, if that makes sense. Anyways, whatever. Yeah. Just making sure she's not gonna like. I don't know. She she was calling me an angel. I think she she was very into the idea of like going into the sky. Uh. I think I get the feeling she might have been down here longer than a month, frankly. I think it's easy that she lost track of time, but... Oh, I'm sure losing track of time is the least of our concerns down here. Least of my concern. Most of my concern is, well, uh, this boss of yours, is he really going to try and charge us? No, he already agreed not to. Oh, did he? Well, that's very nice. Well, what do yeah. you say we go up, huh? Of course. Uh, which, speaking of, do you mind if I had my uh, wakizashi back? That's a bit of a family heirloom. Oh, a family heirloom. Wow. Well, I grew quite attached to it in my time here, especially ever since it almost took my head off. Remember that? Yeah. It was very lucky that it didn't. That would have been bad. That would have been pretty bad. Well, mind if I just keep it company on the way up? Uh, you can keep it on the way up. Very nice. Is there anything else I should know? Uh, no, not that I can think of. Not right now, at least. All right, well, let's go. Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, Cherry oh, will, boy. like, keep one arm wrapped around him, you know, for, like, stabilizing. But, you know, she is holding her gun in her other hand, like, inside the, like, folded, like, under her robes, you know? Yeah. All right, when we feel the tug, yeah, um, send Jarima walking. 
Yeah, and he's just sort of testful swinging at Syl and is going, this thing really goes through the air. It cuts through it. I like it. I can't wait to meet that shit. Do you have much experience with that sort of weapon? Oh yeah, I was a so I was a swordsman back in the war. Oh, wow. Well, that's not much of a yeah. Probably pretty underwhelming. Not I much never, of a sword. Never I'm got sure a it's... blade quite like this. Well, that's mostly just designed for being compact, easy to travel with. I'm not exactly a warrior. I've only had to use it a handful of times, really. Mm. And how many times have you had to use that bean shooter? Uh, that's pretty new, actually. Yeah, you got your hands wrapped around it, though. Man, this guy knows his guns, knows his gear. Yeah. Can you blame me? You must not. You must not trust easily. When you've been on the road as long as I have, you sure don't. Mm. And hey, I'll point out for uh, Ava there. Only reason I don't have the gun on her is I already took her blade. Oh, I see. Well, you know, if I were to use this thing. Well, we would both surely die. There'd be no way up for either of us. I think they could send another rope. Hmm. I tend to True. be lucky like that. Well, let's hope your luck holds out. And yeah, as uh, you come up through the dirt, uh, did you tell him to say banana? I was, Cherry's thinking about it. Can I roll a discern realities on here? Sure. Or actually, you know what? Here, I'll ask him. So, when we get up top, do I have your word you're not going to cut the rope on me or do anything else rash? Of course I won't. That would just cause trouble. I'm just one guy and there's a bunch of you, I'm assuming. I don't sure. think I'd get out of that. I don't think I'd get away with that at all. And besides, it's not right. All right. So I'm going to do some realities on that. One is all I need. Um, who here betrays lies by the tremors of their voice? Is he being honest with me that he's not um. going to? Like, maybe he is just eccentric and worked up, you know? Yeah. Uh... He's being honest that he's not going to cut the rope. Definitely. Uh, he, he just seems on edge about the idea of whoever's waiting up there for him. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, Cherry does say, you know, well, when you get pulled out of the dirt, say banana. Oh, all right. A little safe word. I get it. And yeah, once he comes out of the dirt, he just goes, banana. All right, November, just keep an eye on this one. Wow, she already has instructions, and now you're giving away that there's someone else. And yeah, he just, uh, as soon as he's out, uh, gets up on the dry land. You see, yeah, you can see he has Cherry's sword, and he's just sort of, like, admiring it. And sighing. Ah. <sighs> Cold, cold air. Lydian is cautiously approaching. He's not getting, like, really close. Like, you know, we're, we're observing the 21-foot rule here, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lydian's just like, on that, like, cherry, is Cherry on safe ground as well? Like, that being the last one. If he's standing up, I imagine she's also been, at least, you know, mostly out of the ground. She's probably clambering out. I would guess. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah. That, yeah. Okay. That was the that was the last of of you folk down there, correct? Ain't nobody oh, else. Yeah, that's the last room. of them. 
Uh, other, other than skeletons. Right. Skeletons are... Um... Didn't get your name, by the way, she says to him. It's... Cliff. Right, Cliff. Uh, well, ironic. We're, we're a traveling party. We're, we're on our way to uh, to Marion at this point. We'll happily ferry you and your you and the rest of you fine folk to uh, the nearest city where you can get medical attention and get yourselves fixed up. And but uh, I can't help but notice you you have a belonging of my companion there. Oh, this thing? Yeah, it nearly took my head off, and I decided I better make sure it doesn't do that to anyone else. You know. Well, uh, we're up on safe life. ground now, and I'm going to presume that when it nearly took your head off, it was through no active effort on anyone's behalf. Mm. It seemed that way. It seemed that way as in you agree it was accidental? I believe so. And you're not intending to charge anyone for anything? I see no reason to do that. That I am, I may be a businessman, but I am not an opportunist in that sense of the word. Hmm. Look, we. Well. You're welcome to your suspicions, but we have just pulled you out of a hole, so why don't you get yourself out of this hole by. Surrendering the blade to its rightful owner, because you are in no danger. Lydian says, not thinking about the <laughs> the sniper who currently is quite literally in a great yeah. deal of danger. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't need to know yeah, that. He he, uh, he he just puts he just taps his hand and just says, looks around and just says, "Hmm, no danger, huh? Where is November Perch? Is she hidden?" Yeah, she's, like, in the darkness, you know, right. uh, far enough away to be, like, she can hear things going on, but, you know, definitely out of sight. Uh. I imagine Nico is also out here with the freeze ray, though, for, like, yeah. you know, we do clearly have someone visually obvious is out yeah. here with a weapon ready to rock. Well, let me expand. You are not in danger. But through your own actions you might put yourself in some. We don't want that we don't want it to go that way. We don't want you to do that. I'm pretty sure you don't want to be in danger. Very well. Yeah. He just hands the he ha he, he holds out the blade and hands it over to Cherry. Yeah, she takes it, you know. Thank you, I do appreciate it. And, you know, returns it to its sheath. Right. Now, I uh, understand you folk might want to get back to civilization, get some proper R&R, &R, but we've been walking the day away, so... The night it, away. Well, the day away. We walked here all day, and now it's night. Yeah. Yeah. So... We got camp set up. You're welcome to camp alongside us till morn, and we will escort you the rest. We'll escort you to Marion. Is that agreeable? Lydian says, particularly looking at Cliff. Yeah, he nods his head. Sounds fine to me. And yeah, the brothers also say, yeah, uh, the. Girl who we don't have the three days. Uh, yeah, she, her name's like. Oh, that sounds fine. Uh, I'm Bridget, by the way. It's lovely to make your acquaintance. Thanks for, thanks for rescuing us. That ain't no worry. Um, sorry. I think we should. It's probably no bother, but I heard mention of skeletons. Were those people you knew or? Oh no, they were dead a long time. Says All Cliff. right, no no remains that need retrieval then. That's good to hear. Lydian says thinking of cannibalism. <laughs> and then Sherry does pipe up that uh I would I would uh 
you know, we should probably check out uh, Ava. Just, I, I, I think she might have been in there longer than a month. That sounds, that sounds reasonable given the way she's acting, or that was, that month might have been a whole lot longer for her than it was for the others. Yeah. Cherry does, you know, sort of exhale. Ooh, it's not yeah. there. Uh, I'm gonna say, you get a good look at Ava now, uh, in the moonlight, and you realize she's wearing summer clothes. Oh. Yeah, Lydian says that, like, uh, it's like a this, sun dress. I'll say this much, Cherish. She ain't dressed for winter. Whenever she fell down that hole, the uh, temperature was a lot more agreeable. Oh, well, that's, you know. Um, and, and Cherry does sort of, like, go over to where her stuff is packed and, you know, pulls out um, one of her shirts and, you know, like, or probably a couple of her shirts and just... Oh, I may regret this. And then goes over to be like, you know, here, honey, you, you're you probably cold. Th this might help. Oh. Some arm wrappings. Uh, one is a commemoration uh, for the opening of, um, you know, Milf Island, and the other just says blind girls do it better. <laughs> <laughs> is she yeah. aware that they, that they are those things uh she knows what the shirts say in general though she doesn't know which shirt is which i can imagine yeah i like to think she just got those literally sight unseen and doesn't know. i mean you'd have to know because yeah. how are you by luck yeah. getting a blind girl to do it yeah. she just oh, she no, just yeah. uh wraps them around her arms yeah, protection. In case anything else comes across me on the journey upward. Oh, those are gonna get washed. We'll stop by for some dry cleaning in uh in Marion before we make the rest of our move. Marion, you say? There yes. were those hot springs in Morikane. We'll point out. Do we want to divert them to a up and coming? You know, mine That's fair of... enough, yeah. Marion probably does make more sense still. Though, you know what? This could be a good, you know... Uh, Cherry does say, and if any of you are interested, you're, we're taking you guys to Marion, but Morikone Springs is nearby, and they do have some very lovely hot springs that, you know, after being trapped, you know, there could be a nice, relaxing little getaway. I, I think Ava needs medical assistance, and I don't know if the town dock of Morricone Springs is quite what she needs at the moment. Well, you know, for the others. Those springs can be medicinal. I don't know. Cherry, if you want to head to Morricone Springs for whatever reason, you just have to say. And we hey, can... the previous conversation wasn't in character. That was out of character. Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought that was in character. It's right. getting a bit confusing here. Hey, so if Marion exists in Up, does Yuma exist here in Up? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yuma, Yuma exists. That's yeah. where we're headed. I'd quite like to go there. Do you live there? Or did you live there, perhaps? That's where my mother gave me my name. Okay. Oh. We can take you to Yuma. She, Cherry says, you know, kind of like, not, you know, looking, quote unquote, at Lydian, you know, turning to Lydian, I guess. Yeah, Lydian's, Lydian's eyes narrow a bit. He's just like, oh, oh, this isn't going to help. I'm not going to say anything right now. Well, yeah. How about you two, Bridget Cliff? Where are you guys from? Cliff just goes. I was in the Marion army. Oh, my I had a terror boner. Shock. Maybe I'll. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Cherry's quite, you know, like she's aware of terror bones reputation, but not enough <laughs> yeah. to actually make that joke in character. It's not yeah. visceral enough to her. Maybe they'll still have use for me. I was 
What were you were you out on patrol or something? Something like that. Hope they don't mind a wall. With good excuse. Well, maybe they'll understand. I'd maybe hold out rav I'd maybe hold out on asking for back pay, but uh, maybe they'll forgive the rest. <laughs> I mean, hey. God damn it. <laughs> no, Lydian does not say what I was about to make him say. <laughs> I was about to make him say, hey, you found a hole. <laughs> just say you were, just say you were investigating some spy tunnels. Meanwhile, Bridget just says, oh, well, Marion will be a good place to stop off at, but I need to get back home to Ospring. I'll find safe passage there. Don't worry. Will well, we met there? Think so. Yeah. Yeah, that's where this party started in Ospreay. Yeah, that's where uh, we own. We own, or we are joint owners of a uh, pub well, there. Yeah. And, and yeah, they uh, make their way to the camp. Where the rest of the night can pass without incident. Peace. I will say, uh, November does not reveal herself uh, until, like, I mean, she takes the next watch uh, and, like, make sure those guys are definitely asleep, particularly Cliff, before mm. she, you know, goes to, you know, before she gets some sleep herself. Uh, Cherry prepares a big breakfast for everyone. Um, she's going to request from... Or, you know what? No, she's going to ask, ask forgiveness, not permission. Uh, she takes some of, like, uh, Lydian and Nico's rations uh, to make breakfast for these guys who are probably pretty hungry for good food. Mm -hmm. So should I take down, like, two rations? Uh... I, how many rations do I extra rations do I need to do for this? Uh, I'm gonna say like, and there's five people, so five rations. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just each of you mark off two, and I'll take one from November as well. All right. You got that, Swede? So, so Sorry. what? Mark um, off mark, two. Mark extra off two rations. Ra extra rations. Yeah, sure. Cherry took some to make breakfast. Because I'm down <laughs> to one, so. <laughs> you stole from Nico, the growing boy. The well, growing you gotta, scientist. You gotta accept that there's no more growing there. <laughs> I, I guess Lydian oh, and Lydian requires this. Lydian yeah, is still uh, like, capable of horizontal growth. Cherry creates a, a tasty, if a little bland, but very nutritious uh, meal with a sort of like, you know, um, grits or congee, you know, some sort of porridge, whether mm -hmm. rice or whatever, uh, with some like, you know, some proteins mixed in there, uh, definitely any vegetables that she had available to her, you know, want it to be nice and nutritious, fresh tasting for these guys who have been living off of nothing but meat. Probably dying for some carbs and veggies. Maybe she just makes pancakes, actually. <laughs> so welcome to the surface meal. Yeah. But no, she tries to make it good. Uh, not anything too intense, like some of these people. They might get a little system shocked by mm -hmm. a lot of spice or something, but something unchallenging but satisfying, you know? And so, yeah, the rest of you are awoken by the lovely smells and sounds of a delicious, nutritious, a balanced breakfast being cooked mm. up. Nico studies it. Mm, yes. Mm. 
Yes, this is in fact a balanced breakfast. Excellent. 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 Yeah, as uh, you're all eating, uh, Ava just says, Ah, food tastes great up here. Thank you so much. Ava. So we have two of them are normal. Uh, one of them is like definitely not normal, but mostly harmless, just like, you know, a bit odd. And then we have two who are like, I don't want to be left in a room with them. So it's, you know, pre pretty split. It's a wash. And at least the one who was violently crazy did disarm himself and just seems to now just be kind of pissy. Yeah. And was yeah. an ex-army guy. Rhoda says, oh, I would expect no less from such a beauty to be able to cook such a meal like this. Just, just eat the, just, just eat the food, man. Just fucking eat, man. <laughs> just eat. <laughs> just, just... Uh, uh... I do imagine both Flora and November, like, just subtly, you know, glancing up with a, like, little anime annoyed vein bulge, like, <laughs> at that. The proper way to appreciate foods by eating it, man. Bridget, Bridget. Yes. I, I do agree. This is very nice. Uh, thank you for cooking this for us. Uh, yeah, what we we were just kind of cooking raw meat down there for a few days, or well, a few if days for me. If you were cooking it, it wasn't raw. Nico says. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah sorry. No, Nico is not a scientist when it comes to feed. Ah, oh, true. Meanwhile, Cliff Cherry considers saying <laughs> Cherry considers saying multiple things that she doesn't say. You know, Cliff just looks at November and says, didn't notice her last night. I was keeping watch. You're a soldier? Sure am. Sure am, I left. I have to look that up now. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, that's basically saying what was their specific, like, job or role. Oh. Scout infantry. Scout. November just kind of nods at that. Doesn't make a comment about couldn't be that good of a scout if you fell in a fucking hole. <laughs> I was scouting the hole. So true. When you're a scout, you don't make mistakes. You just make discoveries. <laughs> so let's see you're a scout who a didn't see this hole and fell into it b didn't see me last night you know <laughs> makes you think i'm gonna say this guy isn't getting hired as part of lydian's retinue he's really failed the exam on this one yeah a guy called cliff fell down a hole but no, November doesn't say anything like bitchy or anything. I like, probably just sort of nods after that and then continues eating. This guy is like, if he tells the truth, is going to get just the piss ripped out of him anyway for the rest of his career, assuming he can go back to it. So just November gonna... would have been doing him a favor. So yeah, he he eyes November a little more and just says, "You must be a soldier too." November just sort of, you know, says, I was. That's a rifle of northern make. Oh, that does actually make her stop for a minute. Um, oh, there's lore about her rifle. You're familiar. Hmm? It's a prototype design, so it was never in major use. You have a no, good I eye. I never saw, yeah, never saw one quite like it, but I can tell... Silence. 